So in this video, I want to talk about one idea, one little trick that could radically shift your communication with women instantly. And uh, I'm going to go through it. It's something that came up this weekend a lot in our uh, revealing process masterclass that we got here in Miami. I was sitting with a guy and I really realized a lot of guys have a problem with this. And this shift really does make a huge shift on how people react to you. So we're going to get into that in one moment. In the meantime, um, we're here in Miami and I want to say something really quick. The guys this weekend at the Revealing Live Masterclass, and I'm walking outside, I'll do the video inside here, but I wanted to show you what it's like out here. The guys out here that came out here this weekend to do the Revealing Live Masterclass and the experience that we're doing this week, we're starting today actually, are, um, we got a little bit of wind noise I'm sure, but I'm just showing you that killer view. Um, they killed it, they tore it up. These are guys that are going for it. They're changing their lives. They're, they're ready to step into tension. They're ready to fly all the way to Miami to push their boundaries, to shift their life, to make the changes they need to make to become who they need to be. And I want to acknowledge each one of them. Um, it doesn't have to be with me. There's, there's many great coaches out there. There's a lot of great trainings. It doesn't even have to be uh, coming out here to, to do a workshop. I'm going to give you another example. One of our coaches, um, Sam is just completing, he's, he's almost completed his 230 mile hike for his 65th birthday through the John Muir Trail. He's running to deer and bears, he's had three bear encounters, he's killing it. He's out there building his tension skills, his resilience, he's getting out, becoming one with nature. Do you think this has effect on who he becomes as a man? Yes, it does. So I want to invite all of you to uh, step into some more tension. You know, do with the amount that you can handle. Don't do any more than you can handle. Find that right, right amount for you. But I want to invite you to go ahead and get out there and say, where am I avoiding tension in life? Where am I not taking risks? Where am I not pushing myself? You know, when we go to the gym, we push ourselves to grow muscles and you find just the right amount of weight and you do it. And uh, that's, what, that's what makes us become powerful, uh, powerful human beings in the end. That's what I've done my whole life. That's why I look so different. Now I'm adjusting the stand here and we're gonna dive into this one. So this one little uh, idea that I wanna discuss with you guys is really simple, but, uh, but for some people, very profound and very, very powerful. And for me, it was too. This is a problem I had uh, massively in my life and uh, it's something I had to really make a huge shift with to, to become who I needed to be in this arena, to become a great coach, to become good with women, to have great relationships, to be able to connect with people better, just to have awesome uh, connections throughout the day. One of the things I do when I go to a place like Miami or when I'm out during the day is I'm connecting with people all day long. There's not a time I'm not practicing when I go out. Well, there are times when I sit down and read and I, I take my own space, but I spend a lot of the day practicing opening and relaxing and feeling people, letting people in, making people smile, making people laugh, um, grounding people out. I'm practicing connecting and being the man I wanna be, not just when I meet a beautiful woman, but with everybody. Because ultimately that's what it's about and that's what makes me feel alive. If I only did this once in a while, it would take forever to become who I wanna be at a deep internal level. We're all about deep internal change. And so one of the things I see in men that really slows them down, and when you put these two together, it's really powerful, is wanting. In the revealing process, we talk about wanting. You don't get what you want. You don't get what you uh, need. Needing, wanting, chasing, craving, all of that stuff has a, a embedded message to the subconscious mind and to yourself that you are in lack. So you get what you literally are feeling. And if you're feeling want at, at a deep level, I want that woman in front of me. I want to connect with her. I want to get her phone number. I want to have sex with her. I want to go deep with her. I want to feel, uh, enjoy her. Then what happens? Well, you get more wanting. And the more you want, the more want you get. And if you keep compounding the wanting, what it's going to eventually do is start to compound into pain because you're going to be pushing her farther and farther away with the wanting, uh, creating a bigger gap in your subconscious mind. And then what's going to happen is you're going to suddenly uh, go into frustration and then you're going to start r racing and then you're going to feel really disconnected. You might be out at the bar, you might be out at, at a mall trying to connect with people. And it's like nobody wants to even look you in the eyes when you pass them. When you're sitting at the bar, nobody notices you. You feel like you're in your own little bubble. Okay, this happens to everybody. This happens to me. This happened a little bit to me last night. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example uh, of what happened over the last couple of days. 
Uh, we did the, the revealing process uh, class this weekend, the really revealing live. I was on stage, I was being really present, I drop in, I go into flow states, I love that stuff. Well, Monday comes, and of course, I sleep a lot and I kind of come down from the event and I'm relaxing. And, um, and then what I don't do on Monday morning is review all my to-dos, get my week in order, um, because I, I spent the whole weekend, I, I kind of disconnect from all the things I have to do during the week and get fully present with the students. That's my mission is to put all my energy this direction and grounding and, and being present. It grows me, it grows them, it's, it, it grows the staff. It's a great thing to do, I love it. But on Monday morning, the first thing I usually do or, or should be doing is dropping in and reestablishing uh, my, my now, where I'm at with my now and what my week is gonna be like and month is gonna be like and so forth and getting all that back in because I've kind of pushed it all out. Well, I didn't do that on Monday morning. So on Monday morning, I went out to go to connect with people and I went out to go to talk with people and do what I do. I have a practice, I call it the, uh, we call it the heart walk, where we're actually practicing feeling the throat, the vulnerable, vulnerable parts, throat, heart, and feeling things and really letting them in and letting them emotionally affect us. And then we ground it. And then we go into what we call vulnerability walks where we actually walk down the street and do it with people. And when you really connect and you're really in the zone with people and you're dropped in, you're not thinking about anything else, you're feeling your body, you're enjoying the moment, you're not trying to get anything from them, you're not attached to outcome, you're just literally enjoying you and then you enjoy them and then you let them in you don't push to them, you let them in. What happens is more and more people start looking at you, smiling. When you talk to them, they instantly want to talk to you back. It's pretty wild. So I'm walking uh, down the street doing this and I'm not getting, the, I'm getting good responses, but I'm not getting the responses I usually get. So I realized that in the back of my mind, I was wanting to uh, take care of this stuff, that, that my to-dos and all that, and get that back in order. I had a thing I had to deal with with a truck I bought, and uh, I'm getting, I got this listed uh, four by four I bought, and I, I had it listed, and I gotta buy the rims, and I was gotta have some stuff taken care of with that. There's all these little things in my mind. They were just micro things, but it was enough to affect my connection with people. I mean, I still got along with people, everything was great, but I know how it usually works, is there's this pop, you know, and that pop wasn't quite happening. So I went back and cleaned that up. And I got that and then I saw, saw what, because uh, what, my mind just didn't know what, said something's missing. And I went back, got on my computer, did that really quick, let it all go. And I felt so much better and everything was going good. Then I went out and I was kind of wanting that connection with people now that I didn't get in the morning. And again, I was doing good. People were talking, we were having some good conversation, but I wasn't getting the pop I usually get. So I went out that night with some of the coaches and we went over here to the Blue Fontaine. And I was sitting there and and we were kind of hanging out and I was feeling that little, yeah, I'm not popping with people tonight. I look at them and usually I get a smile and a nod and I can play with eye contact and, and then we kind of end up talking and then we, they comment to me, I comment to them, I'll look at somebody across the bar, something like that'll happen. Wasn't happening. And I said, yep, I'm not quite in the zone yet. It's not quite there. I didn't do, I didn't get back in the zone like I usually am. So I sat there at the bar with uh, Mike, one of the coaches here, and was relaxing and then I felt the moment I I was just practiced letting go of all the wanting and just receiving the environment. I relaxed, kind of kicked back and I opened right through here. There's a sense I get raw. I call it raw. I get raw in the throat, vulnerable. I get raw here. I get raw here and I just kind of let myself be emotionally affected by the environment. That's the key word. Emotionally affected by the environment. I let it affect me and I let people see me being affected. I don't hide it. See, vulnerability is the key to really good connection. It's not the getting rid of a vulnerability. It's not the getting over vulnerability. It's learning to love your vulnerability, not neediness, not insecurity, actual, authentic, raw vulnerability that you own. Like, yeah, I'm embarrassed right now. I'm shy right now. I'm, I'm oh, I'm bothered right now. It's not that you have to get rid of your emotions. You have to start owning them. And that's the moment I popped in, in the evening finally, that was Monday evening after the, the event, I was like, oh, there it is. And I felt it. And this area just kind of lit up with a little charge, like a light bulb. And I felt myself connect. I relaxed in the chair. I was sitting with Mike. I said, there it is. And as soon as I did that, this girl across the bar was smiling at me. And I was like staring at her and I was holding that. I could feel the conduit, what I call the conduit, the connection between me and another person. Then, uh, then this guy comes over and starts talking to me here and we start bumping into each other. I say something to him, he says something to me, he starts introducing me to all his friends. 
and then uh, and then I see that then I look down the bar and I lean over and I see this this really cute blonde and she's like smiling waves and then I wave and then I lock in with her and create tension with her from across the room I hold our drinks up we cheers and then I turn around and then, and then these two girls bump into us that were coming over and I could tell one of them was looking for there were there were two of them one was a leader and she was trying to hustle guys for a drink and um, I felt it right away. She was butting up against me, but her friend was a sweetheart. And so I looked at her friend. I could see her friend was just nervous and following along as her, as her, as her other friend was trying to hustle guys for drinks. And then immediately these guys come over and, uh, and start buying them drinks. And, and the whole night just went into a flow state from there. And I was talking to everybody, flirting with girls and, and having a good time. And we ended up hanging out with these two girls for a while and, and taking a walk with them. It was just a beautiful night. And um, what I want to say is, is is when you get out of the wanting and the needing and the chasing internally and you let people affect you everything changes that's why you guys like watching my videos typically because i'm constantly surrendering and it put it moves you towards a flow state when you do that so i'm going to go through the steps with you right now what this is if you're wanting you're going to feel this sense of reaching out of the front of your body. You're going to be, and then if you get really bad, you're gonna be going into frustration. There's a sense of, I'm gonna to try to do it with you. There's a sense that, that my energy is not in my back. See, right now I'm surrendered, relaxed. I feel up here, I feel down here, I feel the back of my legs. I'm in, that's my masculine, right? And I'm, and I'm enjoying myself. And then I'm opening right here and I'm letting it out. And then I can look at you and I can focus in and connect right here. Okay. If I go into one thing, I go to the front of my body. I'll kind of move my body just, and I start coming here. And there's a sense of, hey, how you doing? What's your name? And then I start looking around the room like this, and I'm going to do it. And there's a sense I'm right here because my energy, my intention is going this way. And I'm looking out, it's that way. Like, who's over there? Who's over there? Hey, how you doing? And there's a sense of reaching with my intention. Okay. And people feel that and the moment they feel that they want to turn away they're like they don't want to be manipulated into conversing with you now what you'll see naturals do is they rest in their body and they have this sense of letting energy into them versus energy chasing so i'm going to show you the difference when i drop wanting i go into choice i go into acceptance these feelings of being feelings of enjoyment and if you've got some unresolved stories, sometimes even sadness or anger, but that's even better than the wanting because at least you're present with your emotions and you're not trying to reach outside yourself and make something happen. And so people can relate to you because they can relate to like, like people don't need you to get over your sadness to like you. They just need you to not be a fucking victim to your sadness. Do you get that? You could be sad and meet a girl. Hey, what's up? You know, yeah, a rough day, but I own it. I could handle it. I'm a man. That's fucking sexy. So when you get out of the wanting, you get in touch with what you're really feeling in the moment more and more. Next step is you've got to open to the environment. So it gets a little raw right here because if you closed off, it doesn't work either. So I, I open to the environment. And then the third step is yes, I will ping people sometimes, but I ultimately let people in and let them, like when, when she gazes at me, I let her affect me and I let her see me be affected. I don't control the effect. I don't do an actor. I let my real emotions come up, like embarrassment, nervousness, and, it's, and that can be very attractive. So now when I'm looking around and I'm looking at people, I'm back and I'm opening to them. When I'm looking at you, I'm back and I'm opening to you. I look over there. And there's a sense I feel all the way down my back. I feel my lower back. I feel my ass. I feel the ground. And then I feel raw through here and I just enjoy whatever I'm feeling through here. Even if it's sadness, you can enjoy sadness. It's good. People go to watch movies to see sadness or hear sad poems. And then you just kind of relax into it. And I'm going to give you the difference again. Now the difference is here. You see this guy in the bar all the time. You might be this guy. I used to be. And the other one is here. I come back into my back, up here, I relax. And if you don't have a relationship, your back, develop it, do movement, yoga, whatever you need to do. Uh, we have courses on that stuff, uh, embodiment courses for that stuff, because all our work is about energetic and emotional embodiment. And you relax into your spine, relax up here, and then you look around and enjoy. And then, you're, then you feel a sense of opening here. And then if I look over there and I see something I like, it could be artwork, I just let it in. How does that artwork affect me? 
I can see a beautiful girl. Maybe she's not even looking at me. Can I just let her affect me? Like, I love her dress, man. That beautiful dress she's wearing, the way she flows in it. Or I might look over here and see uh, a solid dude. I could respect him for being a solid dude. And it's good to have more, uh, more solid dudes in the world, you know? It could be anything. But then people see this sense that you're becoming the tree trunk in the room, grounding. It doesn't matter about physical size. They can feel this part of you grounding down. Um, so then I might turn around this way and I'm moving from here to here and I'm looking and appreciating, you know, maybe the artwork here or curious about what he was thinking when he created that even. I could be that, you know, because honestly, it doesn't do. It's interesting, but it's not a, it's not a powerful piece of artwork for me personally. But I look at it and I get curious about who created it. And, you know, I can, I can ask questions. I can be curious. And then I relax back. And then when I look at you, I'm looking at you from, I'm feeling my body 80% and in enjoying you a little bit and connecting to you and then letting you come into me again. And that's the difference. Again, I'm gonna do it one more time. Now I'm wanting, hey, how you doing? Where are you from? Oh, my name's Brian. Yeah, nice to meet you. You see pickup guys do this, right? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, how you doing? Where are you from? It's uh, still, it's the same energy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who lies more, men or women? You know, and that's, that's acting, right? And then you drop back and hey, where are you from? Or, you know, whatever I wanna say. Or at this point, what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna drop into my back and I'm not gonna try to think of anything to say. I'm gonna let what I wanna say come to me. And I might be, hi, how you doing? What are you doing tonight? And stuff like that. And just enjoy people. Say, you know, what are you drinking? Um, why are you out tonight? And do you know all these people? You guys are all friends, right? You're all with the same company. Cause that, that came up last night like three times because there's all these companies there. It's like, you guys are all with the same company, huh? Which company are you with? You know, and then you just start feeling that stuff out. But then under the surface, they're feeling your turn on, they're feeling your heart and they start to enjoy who you're being. And then you can start moving forward and go, you know, you got really beautiful eyes. Something about your eyes. I like them. Versus, oh wow, I like your eyes. Check it, you got beautiful eyes. And then there's that leaning in energy. So if you're doing this, stop and start really simple. I'm gonna give you a simple practice. Go out, start walking around, feel your back, or ask your heart to open as much as it will. Just relax into this idea, ask your throat to open and just start looking at things. Start with objects, you know, like trees and artwork or a bird flying by or a car you like and just see if you can look at it and open your heart and let it in and receive it and just enjoy it or appreciate it or if you're sad, be sad and just appreciate the sadness, the fact that you're feeling and you're not wanting anymore. You're not chasing, you're not needing. And if you are needing, just observe that and just appreciate that. It's like, get, get, build some perspective because the only thing that makes an emotion stick around is identification with it. So if you're really identified, you think the emotion means something about you. As soon as you start to say, oh, there's an emotional experience that's going on in this body that I have, and I'm just gonna observe it, it no more, no more has power over you. Oh yeah, I've been experiencing sadness, but that's just something I'm observing. And that's when the victim gets removed and everything gets removed, you can observe it, and then it, within a period of time, it's gonna die out. So go ahead and practice this. Walk around, you know, enjoy, enjoy objects, do it every day. I, did, I remember the, the, the first two, three, I think it was three weeks into when I first started doing this, really feeling my back, opening my heart, opening my throat, walking around, just enjoying as many things as I could, taking my time, moving slow. And about three weeks in, there were some big ass shifts. And suddenly people started smiling at me more as I looked at them, started connecting to me more. And uh, maybe one of these days I'll do an actual uh, uh, videos of some of these exercises in the field. We're trying to work that out right now where I'll go out and do these. I'm, I don't really want to do, I'm, I'm not into being doing field pickup stuff because I, you know, the intimacy that happens between a man and a woman is private. Uh, but going out and conversing, talking, flowing with people would be an awesome thing to put on camera for you guys. So hopefully this helps. It's a simple topic, but I just, I had to say it over and over because I wanted to make sure you guys got it. I wanted to make sure you get what it is to relax and stop chasing and start enjoying. Stop chasing, start enjoying, and start letting the enjoyment affect you and letting people see it affect you. That is a powerful, powerful tool. What I also recommend you do is go out and do this journal and then whatever comes up, release on it. Release on whatever stories come up every time you do it. You do. I used to do tw a minimum of 25 highs every day. 
uh, doing this practice, just walking in the street to people, look at them until I could actually start letting them in. And a lot of times, 10, 20 minutes, it doesn't work. Sometimes the whole day, it's not quite working, it's not off. And then one day it clicks and you just, everything is flowing again. So don't think you're gonna get it right away either. You have to practice. You don't, you don't master anything that's body-based, like surfing, snowboarding, so forth, right away. It takes practice. Don't get out there and do one practice, oh, this doesn't work. Go out and actually apply it. So hopefully this makes sense to you. But definitely put your comments below. If you want to see me go out and do some physical practices of this and see Anthony, we'll go do them together and we'll play off each other. That's why we're, we're building, we're working towards this and definitely put in the comments down there below. Uh, the Revealing uh, Live was awesome. Those guys are awesome. I want to acknowledge all of you that were in it. If you were at the Revealing Live, definitely put a comment in the video. Uh, if this video you think can help somebody, definitely share it. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're uh, on our way to 100K. And uh, with that said, remember only the confident really live. Take care and have a beautiful day.